Good morning, hello, welcome to my first LA vlog. So we have a very big adventure ahead of us and thought we'd kick it off in LA. I have no mascara on and no powder on because even though I have brought the biggest, biggest, biggest supply of beauty stuff with me, I somehow have lost my mascara and my MAC powder on the route. But we're in a beautiful place, so it really doesn't matter. And there's a Sephora down the road. So we are just gonna go out and explore today, but I'm gonna give you a quick tour around the room. We checked in to the Lowe's Hollywood and it is absolutely beautiful. The views, as you've just seen, are like incredible. We've literally woken up to the Hollywood sign. Look. So that right there, wait for it, zoom, is a, I don't know if I can zoom, but that is the Hollywood sign from our bed. We've actually got two beds. This is the one that we slept on last night. We arrived quite late last night. And then you look out of the room to the most ridiculous view ever. Is that even real life? And then we have a second bed here. If Matt annoys me, a big TV, sofa area, and then all of our bags. We have the bathroom in here. I have brought so much beauty stuff and somehow still forgot my main stuff. And here I am. So we are just about to go up and explore the pool area before we head out for some breakfast. But yeah, the service is amazing in this hotel. We've got valet parking. We're spending three nights in Hollywood. And then we hired a car from Hertz because we're gonna be driving around anyway. And then we're moving to a hotel in Santa Monica for the next two nights. So let's go upstairs. We didn't really like LA. Well, he liked LA. I liked LA. I didn't really, oh, my phone is buzzing at me. I didn't like LA because I found it quite sketchy, but we are coming to LA with a new a new start today, and the, I already like uh, it more. The problem last time is we were only here for a couple of days, and we had she had so many things on a list of things to do. We ended up just driving around. The driving around LA just takes like about two hours to do a mile. Yeah, it was just so really long, so. You just need a bit of time. Here. We've got like a proper plan, and we've got six days here, and we're moving hotels so we can literally properly explore each area rather than driving here, there, and everywhere. But we will be doing some driving because we have the nicest car ever from Hertz. So, yeah, this is today's outfit. Although I'm probably going to get changed because I'm very hot. So, we're just walking from Hollywood to Melrose. Uh, Melrose is the street that basically has every single Instagrammable coffee shop ever and we need some breakfast because we're hungry aren't we? Absolutely starving. <laughs> I've been up for about four hours. Jet lag woke Matt <laughs> up at like 5am. So yeah, let's do this. So Matt's brought me down to Sunset Boulevard because he thinks we're going to go to In-N-Out Burger for breakfast. Slight, slight detour. <laughs> we love In-N-Out but we can't have it for breakfast. It's like 8am too early. 8 a.m. is too early. There's also an IHOP next to it, and I have to say, I'm very disappointed. IHOP is crap. Me and Matt did a huge American road trip over summer, so we're here for a fair few weeks, not just LA, like the whole of America. Well, the whole of the West Coast. And we went to IHOP, and it was so bad, it was like complete microwaveable food, although they did cook hash browns. Hash browns. But the rest of IHOP was just rubbish, I think, because I like good quality pancakes. It was like freezer food put in a microwave. but. There's an in and out and an IHOP opposite each other. We made it to the most cliche Instagram wall in the world. There we go. Everyone get in their gram pick. I'm not going to get one because, I don't know, it is just a pink wall. But we are going to go to the wall opposite, which is actually really cute. <laughs> Waiting for you. You were always taking time. 
So we got coffee from Carrera Coffee. I got ice and Matt got, Matt's just walking really close at far ahead. What, what I coffee got Americano. Good coffee? Yeah, it's nice. On a level of one to ten. Seven. Seven. Seven for the coffee. So we're just walking across Melrose, which is a street that we actually loved last time we came. It's a really cool street where there's like all of the cool coloured walls and it's just really nice. There's also Earth Cafe here. If anyone knows Danielle Pisa, my friend Danielle, oh my god, cutest dog ever, Matt. I can't cope with that dog. Oh my god, look at the dog. Oh my god, he's about to get a picture of the dog with the cats. Oh my god, I will happily hold the dog and help. Oh my god. But yeah, Danielle recommended Earth Cafe at, at Earth Cafe and it's incredible. So the guy was just in a photo shoot with his dog and the dog was the fluffiest thing I've ever seen. And you know what they say, compliment someone every day and it can make their day. So I told him he has the cutest dog I've ever seen. Didn't vlog the dog because I just feel like it's privacy. You can't really vlog a dog, he's can you? He's also wearing a striped t-shirt. The dog was wearing a striped t-shirt. Oh, but it looked cute. Right, we're gonna go and find a place called Gracias Madre now and we are gonna eat and I'm gonna stop getting overly excited about dogs. <laughs> I love bringing Matt to vegan restaurants. <laughs> this one's quite nice. Here. Yeah. I really like farms. Yes. This place looks incredible. I'm not even vegan, and it looks really good. We just got in after the most hectic day. We had such a good day. We did so many steps. Look at my face. My face is like nap face. It's now dark and we really wanted to go out for dinner, but jet lag has hit. We're just absolutely exhausted. So we just waited two hours for delivery. We really, really wanted to go to this restaurant. Oh, John and Vinny's, but they were way too busy. Um, we couldn't get a reservation for the concierge and apparently you just can't. So it's arrived two hours later, but it's cold. <laughs> is it good? It's nice, but it's cold. Mm, do you think we should go and ask them to warm it up for us or do you, is it okay? Are you going to deal with it? Mm, deal with it. But the worst thing is cold we nice. we tried to, I quite like cold pizza, we tried to order two pizzas and a garlic bread, like a tomato garlic bread and it was $80. $80! How is, how is LA a thing? Like that's ridiculous. Are you enjoying your gold encrusted pizza? Mm. Is it worth that price? Yeah. We didn't pay $80 by the way. We like took one pizza off and ended up paying about $50. Yeah, $50 for um, I got a pasta, Matt got a pizza. That's what happens because they had service charge on and then they had tax on and it really makes London look like the cheapest place on earth. <laughs> right, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna sleep because we are super tired. See you in the morning. So I just made us walk in the circle nearly. <laughs> We are just walking to where, what is that a mark on my camera? Yes it is. Look at that mark on my camera. Let's give it a wipe, yeah. give it a wipe, give it a wipe. I'm back with no mark on my camera. We are just heading for some brunch. Where are we going? What's the place called? The Butcher, the Baker and the Cappuccino Maker. The Butcher, the Baker and the Cappuccino Great Maker. Name. I'm wearing this, which I absolutely love, although my feet are completely cut to smithereens because I do not wear sensible shoes. These should be really comfortable and they're just not. It's so hot, it's 30 degrees and we are literally walking up a hill in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills walking up a hill. We've already done like 10,000 steps today. <sighs> that was meant to be me holding up my arm. <laughs> So if you can see that huge queue behind me, that's the place we were just about to go. So we're gonna come back really early tomorrow and we're gonna have breakfast here instead. This one really needs to find the toilet to have a wee. I'm really thirsty, so we're just gonna go and find somewhere lovely to sit, have a little drink. It's crazy. Guys, on the walk to find food, I picked up a giant cookie ice cream. My arms are too short to hold my vlogging camera. So yeah, we're on our way to get food, and then I couldn't resist getting this. It's literally two cookies with loads of ice cream in the middle, and you can't really tell, but it's bigger than my head. And Guys, we found a dog park, and there's just really cute dogs running around, and it literally looks like my idea of heaven. Oh my god, look at them run. <gasps> We 
gonna head to the Love and Lemon store because I literally love Love and Lemons so much. walking back to the hotel to freshen up then we're going to grab the car get changed because i'm very sweaty and we're going to have a drive although we've just walked for half an hour and we're now walking and i said to my i was like we're not going up that hill are we he was like yeah we're about to go up the biggest hill so yeah good exercise i think we've already done like 20,000 steps today we've covered a lot of ground So I was just in CVS, I need to find a really cheap mascara because I don't know where my mascara's gone. So let's see what they have that's cheap. What's this? Maybelline. Great Lash, $5.99. This is the cheapest mascara they have, I think. American makeup shop. This was $3, wet and wild. Let's see how this is. Note to self, don't forget your mascara. Now I'm getting some band-aids because my feet are in tatters. Which band-aids shall we get? Waterproof, water block, wide foam, so many choices. Silicon, frozen, heavy duty. I don't actually know which ones to get. I need some really thick ones. Healing, skin flex. The winner of the best CVS haul goes to M. Sheldon. Band-aids, mascara. Ah! Minions! Minions! Yeah! We got some Vita Coco! Okay, so my haul's a bit better now. Let's go pay. <laughs> we are all freshened up now, feeling less sweaty. Hello, gorgeous view! We're just about to go and pick up our car from downstairs from the valet. I'm so excited to show you guys and then we are gonna go and get some brunch because this whole vlog is just us eating there are so many foodie hotspots in LA you excited I'm buzzing. buzzing also love this outfit I'll show you guys in a minute Just drove past the butcher, the baker, the cappuccino maker again, hoping we could go there. But there, well, you just can't get in. I just don't think we're ever going to be able to eat there. So we're going to head down to a place called Zinc, which is meant to be incredible. The girl at the queue did say she liked my jumps. We're going to head to Zinc, which is back on Melrose, which is basically our favourite street. Bit for Matt having to drive and do U turns. Matt's the definition of what his t shirt says angry. <laughs> the least angry person I've ever met. I don't think you can make him angry even if you try. <laughs> Anger. We had an argument about this t-shirt because it's just such an ugly t-shirt. So nice. <laughs> So this is my idea of, well, not the nicest meal in the world. I really can't get on board with salmon. Smoked salmon's just the best. Like, can't be it. I like salmon in cream cheese sandwiches, but like the tiniest like, bit. Like normal salmon's nice, but smoked salmon's the best. No, 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 it's too smoky for me. And actual salmon is just so fishy. Oh, perfect. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Yum. I got some baked eggs. Yes, please. Thank you. I got some baked eggs and Matt made me get a side of pork sausages. Um, and we also got some fries. So we're at a place called Zinc, which was highly recommended. We are just very brunched out now, very full. Let's just say I can barely even breathe in this jumpsuit anymore. <laughs> 
literally stuck to it. We, um, I got totally judged for taking pictures in um, that brunch place. Everyone next to me was looking at me. I was like, this is really embarrassing. Vlogger life. We're just heading across Melrose again because there's this really cool coffee place that does like stencils in your coffee. You can get like Brian Gosling in your coffee. You can get a picture of Matt in your coffee. You can get a picture of me in your coffee. So we're just gonna, even though we were here, we're, we're just gonna quickly look and then we're gonna head to Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills. I'm so sweaty. You sweaty? Nice, no air comes off. Oh my god, it's not in it. Didn't me yet. Oh, I turned my air come off. That's why. Woo! That is better. Oh, that's so good. I turned it off the other night when I was too cold. We are just driving literally down the road. I know we should walk. We have really bad blisters. Um, to Beverly Hills. We're going to do a rodeo drive. Just a warning, I'm going to do an outfit change because I actually want to take some really cute pictures of this new top top outfit that I got. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll probably be wearing a different outfit. Guys, sorry if there's a mark here on the camera. We tried to clean it and for some reason it just didn't go, so I hope that didn't affect your viewing too much. So I'm wearing this now. Cute little spotty two piece. It's not a two piece, it's a dress. To be honest, I'm really warm, so I'm glad I got changed because that jumpsuit was very restrictive after all that food. We are just on Rodeo Drive, safe place, amazing shops. Gonna pop into Chanel. So, as much as I love taking you guys shopping with me, designer stores really don't like people filming in them. So I didn't film in Chanel, is that the one running behind me? I think that is. But yeah, I actually found some really nice shoes that I really liked, but the problem with buying designer stuff in America is it's way more expensive because they add loads of tax on and all that jazz, but the same shoes I saw in London and they didn't have them in stock. Ooh. But we actually don't have any room in our suitcases anyway. And we have about six more flights after this one. And we already nearly had to pay excess baggage on the flight coming out here. They basically only like 20 kilograms and they were pretty unhappy that I was like 22 kilograms. So I had to move loads of stuff over into another bag. So probably best that I don't get Chanel shoes. Because I'd want to keep the nice box and everything. So I think I'll just wait until they come back in stock in London if I decide that I want to splurge and get some new ones. Do you know where we're gonna go now? We're gonna get back in the car, recoup, but I could really do with a drink. Look at that dog! Oh my god, it's so fluffy! <laughs> you see that dog? It was so fluffy! Oh my goodness. Beverly Hills is just like. What car is that? A really fancy car. Like a Spider-Man car. McLaren after McLaren after Range Rover after Range Rover after McLaren after McLaren. After cute dog after cute dog. Guys, look at these houses. This is prime Beverly Hills. This is where Matt is gonna buy me a house. One day. <laughs> I'll buy my own house here. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this room and this incredible view. Literally the comfiest cloud beds ever. This is just insane. The best. Back at the Lowe's Hotel in Hollywood. Oh my goodness, I look so tired. We are both both basically one big blister. Matt's got blisters on top of blisters, I've got blisters on top of blisters. 
So we have been granted access to go up to the helipad on the hotel. They do sunrise yoga. I think it's like every other Sunday. You'd have to check the website if you're coming to stay. And we missed it because we obviously haven't been here on the Sunday that it was on. But the staff are so good at this hotel and they've granted me access to go up. So I want to go and get some pictures up there for the gram. So I'm going to go and put, I think, I don't know what I'm going to put on gonna put a little dress on and go and assess the view because this is meant to be beautiful so I'm gonna take you guys up with us and then we're actually gonna go out for dinner tonight we're gonna go out we're gonna get out of the bed you know that's a problem when the bed's so comfy Matt's just checking out his blisters, out blisters. <laughs> okay let's go and check out the view instead of our blisters honestly guys we are in we are wounded wounded We have the best views in the whole of Los Angeles up here. You've basically got like a 360 of the whole of Los Angeles. You've got the Hollywood sign behind me. You've got, it's just like incredible. So this is a helipad that is actually in use by the hotel to yoga on. Is that a dream or is that not a dream? You guys need to stay at this hotel purely so you can come and do yoga on this helipad. Oh my goodness, that was so beautiful. So Jonathan, the security guard, took us up and he was so, so, so nice. I was also quizzing him on the house in Beverly Hills. He was saying that the ones in the hills that we can see from our room, actually a lot of people got them really cheap like years ago and now they're worth millions. That's incredible. So it's kind of like London. So we're gonna go grab some food now. I don't know where we're gonna go. We really want like Asian food. I think we might go down and ask the concierge where's it good. We're just excited to eat and I just can't believe how beautiful that was. That's the kind of place that someone would propose, isn't it? And they'd like hire that out and propose. But this hotel is just a dream. Last time we were in Hollywood, we just had a really bad experience. It felt really sketchy. A guy threatened a gun on me and I was like, I'm never going back to LA ever again. Then we found this hotel and we saw such good reviews and the staff were amazing and I'm really, really happy. I literally love LA now, I would move here. So we've had such a better experience. I feel like sometimes you need to come somewhere twice and now I'm gonna come back to LA all the time. So the concierge was amazing and managed to get the reservation at 10 or I'm wearing the same thing I wore earlier because I'm really lazy and want to be comfortable. We came here in New York and then did I say we went to one in Vegas anyway? New York, Vegas and now we're at the one in LA and I'm really happy because it's mine and Matt's favourite favourite restaurant so we're like we have to come here, it's like Asian food. So we're going to the desert area today. Matt needs to shoot some of his clothing brand. And also I do like to get out of LA and see like countryside. Well it's not countryside, it's like LA's countryside. I've got no knickers on. Because they were very neon-y. <laughs> and I, so I'm like holding my dress so no one gets um, free pornography slash pictures of my of my vagina. But <laughs> we're just gonna head to see the Beverly Hills Hotel because we ate there last time, didn't really like it, but I like to go and just have a little wander around, get a few pics, <laughs> and also I love my dress, even though I am totally Nicola. My dream house in Beverly Hills, look how big this house is also. Cute dress. Look at this, Matt. I literally can't believe it. 
Look at that house! It's like the biggest thing ever. Apparently just house hunting around Beverly Hills, guys. These houses are like insane. Oh my god, did you see the doors on that one? <laughs> it's just incredible. Talk about inspiring. This is just outrageous. So we're gonna get ourselves organized at the hotel because we're checking out of this hotel now at the Lowe's Hollywood and we're moving to the Lowe's in Santa Monica for the rest of our trip but we're gonna check out sadly because <laughs> we've actually really loved it we had such better experience in Hollywood this time and then we are gonna pack the car and drive over to the desert now we are full <laughs> So we got to it really early this morning and headed to Beverly Hills while we're at this side of town. Now we are freshed up, new dress on, we're gonna go and get some proper breakfast. We're gonna go to a place called Rue because it's en route to the desert kind of area that Matt wants to go and shoot in. So saying goodbye to the Lowe's. Now we have honestly had the best day here. This hotel is beautiful. The staff have been so good. Jonathan took us up to the roof terrace last night. Oh, and by the way, we had the best meal at Tao ever. I can't remember if I told you guys. Um, it was just delicious and the concierge was amazing and managed to get us a table so very happy so i really need to wash my hair we're moving over to a hotel in santa monica but first we're going to go to the desert we've got an exciting shoot day ahead of us and yeah it is nice to as much as like we actually really love la now it's my happy place i'm much happier we would also quite like to go out and see the scenery surrounding because when we did our road trip before that was our favorite part kind of driving through the deserts and stuff there's no desert super super close so we're probably going to be driving for a while but it means we can take our car. We hired it from Hertz and we can't get like a G-Wagon or something because we're not 25. So we got the best category car that we could, but most of the cars were sold out. But the staff at Hertz was so good and managed to get us an upgraded white car because the Jeep that we originally wanted wasn't in stock when we got that. Um, so I'd highly recommend Hertz if you guys are getting a car. We got our car for four weeks last time with Hertz and they're always really good. Right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Say bye to this gorgeous view and this gorgeous hotel room. Say bye. <laughs> And I literally have had the best night's sleep ever on these cloud beds. Right, guys, let's go. Next stop, Rue Cafe for some breakfast. arrived. We had the nicest breakfast ever at a place called Rue. It's quite cold so I'm wearing this jumper dress now which I love. We are just kind of like doing the ones in the middle of a bit of like a deserty, rocky kind of place. It's beautiful. Look how cool our car looks in the middle of here. And I am just shooting some stuff for Matt and his menswear brand Ro. Did you know I can actually take pictures as well? <laughs> We figured out that ah, we we have we have a sunroof. Wait, where? And you can get out of the top of it. Graham goes. So we're gonna just. Oh, there's someone else doing a photo shoot. Everyone's here getting those Instagram shots. You gotta call me every day. Current situation. I look like a scarecrow. Oh my goodness. I look like a scarecrow. It's so windy right now. Matt's just looking at the pictures I took. Good, bad. Yeah, good. We've been trying to get a picture of the sign behind because it matches my jumper dress. But I just can't. My hair, every single picture just blows in front of my face. We're gonna give that a miss. I think we're gonna go to in and out soon, but we're gonna get loads more pictures of Matt first. Lately it's crazy. Yeah, we could be the same as we claim in this kingdom shit and keep Reef is coming up. I'm wearing this, which is a um, bikini top. It is so nice. It's velvet. Right, let's, let's go off. 
Look at it blowing away. I just brushed my hair by the way because every time I go outside, oh, it's, it's windy. Woo! It's time! It's time to go to In and Out Burger, Matt's favorite. You are place. approaching your destination. <gasps> I can see it. Oh my goodness. In and out, in and out, guys. Leave a comment below. In and out burger, Shake Shack, Five Guys. Which do you prefer? I don't know. I like them all. I like the chicken burgers at Shake Shack. I love In and Out because it's cheap and because it's just so pretty. level of one to in and out that was actually the worst in and out I've had it was good but it was like not the best was it yeah, the chips are a bit cold so let down we're kind of burger connoisseurs here aren't we so we just had to annoyingly drive all the way back to our first hotel because I got a parcel delivered there and it was signed from Friday but I completely forgot to check that it was actually the hotel so now we are finally on our en route back to our next hotel which is in Santa Monica and we just wanted to really split this trip up so we can actually enjoy each part of LA. Although we've been out of LA today and had the best day. So we're heading to the Lowe's Hotel Santa Monica now, which is meant to be absolutely beautiful. And I think it's quite nice because LA has so many different sides. You've got like Malibu, which is the beach, which we went to last time. You've got Hollywood, which is kind of like really busy. You've got West Hollywood, which is our favorite part, which is very like cosmopolitan. And then you've obviously got the beach area, Santa Monica. We did not do really any exploring of Santa Monica. Oh my God, there's a dog. <laughs> so yeah. Foot, footed like that. <laughs> so we didn't explore. Oh, he's gone. So we didn't explore much of Santa Monica next time. We're gonna have to go, I'm too excited. Oh my God. I'm zoomed, I can see it. Hello cutie, look at me. Cutie, look at me. Oh. Are you enjoying that breeze? Are you just enjoying that breeze in your hair? Dog's just enjoying the breeze. Breezy. Oh, turn around. Oh, hello cutie. Oh. So we finally checked in to our new hotel, we're staying at the Laos, Santa Monica, it is absolutely beautiful, wait until you see this, such a different side to LA. guys this is a real me um i just wanted to quickly show you we just woke up in parrot 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 guys last night we went to the gym we didn't even eat we were just like let's sleep sorry so that's my beautiful alarm going off i'm just using the maybelline tattoo brow long lasting tint it's not long lasting last three days but it's really good because i've been putting it on like every three days and then i don't need to do anything to my brows Obviously this is not the final result. You basically paint it on and then you wash it off. Makeup Revolution do one, which um, I think you leave on for three hours, which I don't know if I've got time for that. And it's meant to last a lot longer. So I will review that one and try that another time. But I'd like to be honest with you guys and tell you what I'm using. So I'm gonna get ready, but I just thought it'd be nice to show you the reality behind the gram. <laughs> so I'm just wearing this bikini, which is from Simply Beach, which is the nicest swimwear shop ever we I curled my hair as well eyebrows looking better so look they don't look half as dark as they did earlier just about to go out here 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 Get excited yeah, we're gonna take some pictures we're just like down at the pool area just about to walk to the beach I'm wearing a Santa Monica jumper this makes me far too excited look it's a muscle beach I'm stronger than Matt so I bet I'd be better at going on them shall I try it have no arm strands. Oh my god, look, they've got like ropes that people yeah. are climbing up. Wowzers!
Matt's wearing jeans, so he's not going to try this, but he wants me to attempt the... I'm going to have a look. Okay. He's going to have a go. I'm, just, I'm not you really dressed dress in the attire for it. You go first. I'm not too. One. Go then. I can't breathe. <laughs> you need to. Oh, I can't. Matt's done. Oh, wow. He knows. He knows. How did you do that? Because you, you've got longer arms. That's not fair. Ah, uh, I am a windswept mess. It's just so windy in LA today. And it was yesterday, so I was trying to get some cute gram pigs on the beach, but it's not happening because I'm just the wind such a mess. So we're giving up. We're gonna go to Earth and grab some breakfast. I see they do healthy-ish pancakes. I really want some pancakes. So I'm making Matt come here with me. You love it, though, I don't like you? It. It's cool, oh, it? I hope they do the drink that I always get. Oh my god, I miss this drink, I crave it. my favorite drink it's got matcha green tea espresso and dark chocolate it's so good but I got it I got it I got it I'm so happy so we just ate loads of food I had the best waffles ever Matt's just counted up money for tips we are just gonna get our car we're gonna drive over to Venice cuz where are we going where are we going excellent, excellent! But Matt found it in downtown LA last time and we're really happy and excited. So I've changed into this because it's brunch time. Yeah, we eat a lot. Let me show you this outfit. I love it. I'm really hyper because I'm full of waffles. Ew. Go in then. Is that how do you get in? Excellent. Excellent. Happy us. Imagine if it was closed. How upset would you be? Oh. I'm really awkward trying to get a picture with the Venice sign and there are like two people at either side of me also getting the same picture. This is, this is what LA is about. This is literally an Instagram shoot happening right now. I do not have the confidence to stand in the middle of the road. Yes, girls. Sadly, it's a little bit too windy to walk around, so it's like crazy wind. We're just driving down Abbott Kinney Boulevard. So many of you guys told us to check it out. Matt thinks we checked it out last time. Oh yeah, four hours parking. Um, I don't know if we did check it out last time. Matt thinks we did. I think we didn't. <laughs> so it's just really, really nice shops. Two after we sit the meal of the day. We could have not come to the butcher's door today because we came here in New York and we loved it. So we've got a pizza to this one. Why are we like this? This is like our 50th meal. 148 of food. Why I ordered a pizza? I just got completely ahead of myself. Ow, blisters rubbing. I just don't know why I did it. But it was really good. That means we've just had like, we had breakfast. 11 meals. Then we had breakfast too. Then we had brunchy lunch. Did you get a taco? No, that looks sick. Yeah, I mean, we might as well get a taco now as well. So I'm just not gonna have any more food now. To be fair, we didn't have any dinner last night, and we're probably not gonna have any tonight now. So we're just walking down Abbott Kinney, um, and then I think we're gonna go and chill on the pier. Guess he's been napping, I've been napping. I thought I was napping for 10 minutes, Matt said I was napping for 40 minutes. I asked him to set an alarm and yeah, that's what happens. So we're gonna go and have a little wander down to Santa Monica now. You know, it's really hard work eating all day. It's clearly just taken out of me. I know, but we have been doing a lot of steps. So if you wonder why I'm changed, it's because we're gonna do like 
pics. I'm hoping the wind's died down. I'm not sure though. But yeah, I want to go see the amazing Pia. I'm going to show you the shirt because this shirt is the version of my blue shirt, which I keep mentioning, but in white. And I couldn't love it more. Everything that I'm wearing on this vlog will be linked below, by the way. Hello. Hello. As per. Are we going? Are we going to the pier? Yeah. Yeah. This is the shirt my swimsuit underneath is from. God, it's like I'm stripping for you guys. You're allowed to do this when it's a um, swimsuit, aren't you? It's from Simply Beach again. Oh my god, guys, look how nice it is. I'm sorry, but yes. So yeah, let's go look. We're going to where the fun happens. I just hope it's a little bit warmer out there now because looks can be deceiving and it's very windy. Just pretending that he's Justin Bieber with his cap on, his hoodie, his sunglasses. Head down from the paps, head down. <laughs> I am a windswept mess. Man is just popping some bottles. We're just gonna have a drink and then we're gonna go down and find somewhere for dinner. The sunset is so nice tonight. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Also guys, you need to buy this shirt because I feel like, I'm wearing a swimsuit by the way, I'm not naked. I feel like it will sell out. I have it in blue. Got my nails in it, ragdoll nails in Leeds for anyone who's wondering. Um, it's just the best shirt ever and I know that it will sell out. So I'll link it below. So we're back in the room now. Oh my goodness, tiredness has hit me. Matt's tired, I'm tired. I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna leave this vlog here. We have another morning, afternoon, tomorrow, then we fly to Dallas. I have a conference kind of thing. So thank you for watching guys. Big, big, big love to you. If you've watched, um, leave a comment, let me know. I don't know, just let me know if you enjoyed the vlog. Um, I really hope you did and everything I mentioned will be linked below. As I said, come say hi on Instagram. Let me know that YouTube sent you. I'd love to have you over there. Love you lots guys, see you.